Hey everybody, it's uh, Joe here from Data Analytics Ireland. Welcome back. If it's your first time, uh, we do blog posts, on uh, video tutorials, on live streams, everything and anything data analytics. Today we're going to talk about what's on the screen. So value error cannot convert float NAND to integer. So we're going to take you through some code, show you how this problem uh, occurs and then how we can fix it. So let's hop over there now. Right, so uh, let's get stuck into some code here I've written. Um, first objective is to replicate the problem. Like I do in a lot of my video tutorials, I like to actually replicate the problem, show actually how it may occur. There could be a different a couple of ways it does it, but uh, let's uh, look at the first scenario here. So we're gonna look at NAN, okay? And what does NAN mean? So NAN means basically not a number. And if you're familiar with SQL, it's basically the same concept as nulls. Basically, it's it's a null value. There's nothing in the actual cell in the uh, on the table, in, say in the data frame, or if you're looking at a database table in the actual physical record in the column on that particular row. So it's an empty value. There's nothing. Okay. So that's the first thing we need to consider when we're actually looking at this error. Now, how does this cur error occur in Python? So one of the characteristics of uh, NaN is special important value. So it can only be a floating value and can be converted to anything else. So when we look at um, basically the error or the logic here in front of us, okay, uh, essentially we have two bits of this. We have this bit here, right? And we have nan, okay? And basically we're looking at the float of this string, okay? We either call it the type and then basically saying uh, print, print it, okay? It's split, and then it's the second bit of it is, then we're saying a is equal to int nan print a. Now, so what we're trying to do is make this an integer, okay? So when we run this logic here, okay, when we run this logic, all right, there's your error. Value error cannot convert below nan to integer. So essentially what's happening here was you have nan here is basically defined uh, as a data type float, okay? Print data type here is printed, and then we've actually physically print, tried to print it on the screen, should I say. But then this next line on line five is basically gone and taken that value and try to create an insure. But because it's a float, uh, it essentially says, oh, we can't convert a float to an integer, uh, and, or I need a printed either. So we're gonna show this error here, value error, can I convert float uh, to integer? So what's the next step? How do we actually fix this? So let's look at that now. Right, so yeah, if we want to fix this problem, then um, well, I suppose one of the things that this is appearing in your logic, you need to basically look at where you have any NANs, NANs, and not any numbers in your logic, or if they're appearing in the output. So in the above, we had NAN here, we had it defined as a float, and then we tried to change it to an integer here, integer, should I say. But because as we described here, NAN was a float, um, and it basically, says trying to turn a float into an integer it won't work but difference down here is nan is a float it's, it is a float still okay but um the float value of one is the same as what you get on uh, through an integer okay so essentially it's kind of a well they're not like for like they all are the same which you would describe the same type of uh, uh, numerical value that you actually um, basically can see in your output. So in here, if we run this, we'll maybe just explain the output and then uh, show you what's going on. So up here, we have nan as the float of one, okay? And we know floats are have a decimal point, like they usually one after them. And um, so you can see the nan is float one. So it's basically it's printed its class, which is float, and then a value of 1.0. But because that is a value of one, it's able to re rechange that to a value of one. Sorry, because that value is 1.0, it's converted to 1.0. It's able to change that to a value of one without any error and the program executes successfully. So the learning lesson from today is that if you come across this problem, probably the most likely scenario which is actually in the error output is you have an NAN in your data output or in the, the input that's feeding into the program that's asking you to try and convert uh, a float to uh, integer okay so if I was doing this um, 
I suppose the first check you should do is to check where if there's any NANs coming in that can cause us problems. Um, also then just check that if you can print the data frame, if it's if you have uh, loaded your data into a data frame, check if there's any NANs in there. Because if there is any NANs, it's gonna cause this problem. And essentially how you fix it obviously is remove the NANs and have integer values in there. Um, okay, so that today very quickly is a quick example of how this problem of the value error cannot convert float NAN to integer occurs how you can fix it and how you can stop it going forward by taking some measures before you run your program to check for the value now. So I hope you like this uh, video tutorial today. We do weekly blog posts, video tutorials, and we do live streams as well. Um, our subscriber base is growing and we're rolling out new videos soon. I've actually, the next video after this is going to be a one on JavaScript and how to path of errors from a JavaScript to JSON into Python. So if that is something that you like and something you'd like to learn, please hit the subscribe button and hit the alert so you can actually see when that video comes out. Hope you're all keeping well, stay safe, and we're looking forward to seeing you soon. Take care.